Hello, y'all. Boogie Knight here, and welcome back to the Inner Friend. Um, you may notice that we have backtracked just a little bit, um, because, well, as I put it in a note before my last entry, the game completely crashed, and OBS did not pick up the last few minutes of this game. So, unfortunately, I have seen the ending of this game, um, but luckily, now that I've beaten it, I can actually select um, which level... Uh, to replay, and this was one of the levels that was mentioned, and it also gives the opportunity to pick up collectibles. So, we are going to finish up, and hopefully, you guys will be able to see the ending with this. I'm hoping that's the case, because the ending's fascinating, as well as this Wendigo-like creature. So, forgive me if I'm speedrunning this just a little bit, but... I want to get back to where we were last time. So, behind here, we move our freights. Oh, I'm still tense and I've already beaten this once. But I've really enjoyed this game and I really hope y'all have too. I feel like there's so much in this game that is open to interpretation, and I really like that a whole lot. And once again, I do want to thank Playmind for helping me troubleshoot this, particularly Medric, um, the marketing manager, who's been responding to my emails and my DMs on uh, Twitter. Okay, so here we go. We died right around here. And it's got that red light again, just like the pre- Oh, that's too close for comfort. Yeah. I know it's not a Wendigo in its traditional sense, but it's... What, I've got a fascination with Wendigos. I'm actually going to be buying the uh, Kaylee Elise Wendigo shirt since it's on sale. Since Kaylee Elise is no longer going to be continuing to record, unfortunately. Which is kind of a drag because she was really amazing. But Okay, here we go. So we beat this part last time. After we died once, and the game crashed... Yes. Oh, that's creepy as hell. So we're back here through the land of nightmares. Stop it. Past the nightmare swing. This is where things really started heating up, and you twit. I'm right here. I didn't even see that rubber duck. Come on. Okay. Come on, mate. Come on. Oh, there he goes. Okay. Oh, crap. Here we go. And we're off on the chase scene. Still a few bugs in this game, unfortunately. Run from the Wendigo. Come on. Come on, baby. Come on. Now is not the time. We're about to get taken, aren't we? Yep. Duh. Why isn't this not working? Maybe this will work. There we go. That's weird. I wonder why it's, the mechanics aren't working like it used to. Maybe there's a hitbox I'm not trying to quite hit again. Come on. Come on, baby. You can do this. Now we run. And I think I have a theory on the Wendigo itself. Oh, I can hear it right on my heels. It is right on our butts. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Seal the door. I glanced at that last time. I'm not sure what that... Oh, don't run! There you go, mate. Oh, hell. Ooh. He just definitely just wants his bear. 
So, I'm thinking, what is this? Comfort in the Dark gives it the book. I think we picked that up in the first level with the school, actually. Is that Alice in Wonderland? I think this kind of set resembles Fear of the Dark, this particular cave level. Maybe it's just nightmares, and that's why I was reading a book to it? The Manifestation of Nightmares? I don't know. Damn, that's bright. We're back in the house. This time, we were able to get the dog. There we go. <coughs> we still missed a doll, but we did get the bat and the ball. There's our main character, staring out the window, possibly dreaming of a better life. Oop. Yep, there it is. <laughs> that is so cool. It heard its, they heard their name. I'm guessing that's a guy. And out it goes, leaving our inner friend. To be free. <laughs> the door. It's clever. I still like that. There's our main character with a face. And it is a guy. And there's the ending. That, my friends, is the inner friend. And I really, really like this game, despite the crashes, which were numerous and irritating as hell. But I think they did a fantastic job. How each level was something different. So you went from kind of logic, to stealth and evasion, to platforming, and uncovering what each of these phobias was. And some of them were direct, like the fear of the dark at the end, but a lot of more was just open to interpretation, and I really like that. And there's Medrick, the uh, gentleman that I've been talking to with Playmind. So, once again, very well done. And I hope y'all liked it as much as I did. And I'd love to hear your thoughts about the game, each level, the phobias, the fears, what do you think all of those symbolized? Was it just something simple, like the Salon, or maybe it was something deeper? Please let me know what y'all think in the comments below, as well as what y'all think of the game entirely, as well as my progress on it, and, you know, what I could have done better. I always read comments, so please let me know. So, one final thing before I call it a session. Um, it does offer you to go back into the room and go back into each level to do all the collectibles. So I'm not sure if that unlocks maybe another ending, or if it's just a way to kind of for completion points. But, of course, that's not just my thoughts on the matter. Please keep me posted. So otherwise, with that being said, before I call it a session, if you like the Bogey Night Project and you want to find out more, I do have a Twitter page as well as a public Discord channel, and links to both of those are in the description below, as well as a link to my temporarily down Twitch page, and of course, if you have some money you want to get rid of without donating to a proper cause, or somebody with talent, you have my Patreon account. So otherwise, I hope you all have a fantastic evening, and I'll catch you on the flip side, alright? Peace.